pray at night. Hey YouTubers and YouTube Reds, this is Connor I'm CEO here, welcome back to my channel and this video is what I'm about to do is uh, instead of waiting for my camera to show um, whenever I get it and then get started with uh, the reaction videos, I think I'm going to have to skip those ahead so I can be more prepared with my future reaction videos so I won't be falling behind. So from 5, 6 and the 7 episodes of the Arrowverse and Titans, I will be speaking in reviews before the uh, crossover uh, episodes begin. So. Uh, my review is by Black Lightning and uh, what I thought in the part one of the Book of Blood was uh, originally I didn't know how I was going to start, it just started off with Gambi doing his normal thing before opening time going to an open grocery shop uh, with this Chinese guy that uh, both of them know each other really well and they were chatting in, the, in his language and then just then from out of nowhere these uh, two uh, goons from an arm, arm of band started uh, attacking him and it basically reminded me of uh, Captain America with the soldier except uh, it, 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 it was basically nearly the same thing where you hear his car talking about the percentage of the damage that's taken and then just after when it said 9% of damage the car just blew up and throughout the episode I keep thinking that everybody keeps saying and I'm even thinking that there's no way that Gambi can be dead because I mean he has a background of military experience he could have gotten out of that and uh, no problem even with that 9% left of uh, the protection of his, uh, of his uh, forest car. I mean, he could have easily gotten out of it, so I don't know what's really happened. Is he really dead? Is he able to pull it off in the show? But uh, I guess we'll have to wait until episode 6 to see what's really going on. And then uh, everybody told the bad news Jefferson and this uh, Jennifer, they all took it really bad. Uh, they took the bad news really bad and they didn't find anything else. And just before that, um, Vanessa got brought into the clinic because they were all short of staff and she said well, she'll have no problem uh, going for it immediately until she was uh, checking um, Lightning came with no these two people who are having a, bit, having a first baby and the, the, the father to be he was very very anxious like literally nervous and then so I can get this over and almost so I can get out of here and even the mother to be she was really scared that she was going to be terrible mother but Nissa from her experience of uh, being part of one of the greatest parents in the world it took up their spirits which was great and then Jefferson he took it really bad he ended up, I, I mean literally, I've never seen Jefferson drunk before. And then 2-Bits showed up and was like, when are we ever going to see 2-Bits again? Is he going to ask for Black Lightning for another selfie until he gets clocked again? But no, he just wanted to be sure if he was okay because he heard about Gambi because everybody in Freeland knew about Gambi. And then, if, then this guy was harassing this girl and then Jefferson just just like swooped in and bit the living crap out of him. But luckily that... Um, his best friend, his longtime best friend, stopped him and uh, got him out of the way. And he keeps thinking that he keeps losing everybody. Because, I mean, I mean, he lost his father 30 years ago in that storyline. And then just out of the blue, he just lost his best friend. He was basically a father figure to him. He taught him how to survive, taught him how to fight, and helped him to become Black Lightning with his first and second suit. And then um, his ex-wife thought it was a good idea to go to Gambi's place, especially with Jennifer. And that's uh, secretly getting calls from Cleo and not saying anything. The mother found this pocket watch that meant a lot to uh, Gambi and Jeff. Showed it to him and he basically lost the plot. So like, well, I'm going to return it back. And then he showed up as Black Lightning to talk to two bits, see if there's any information. And then he said they were witnesses of that saw what happened in the car. And then he took a stop to uh, his tailor shop and he just broke down in tears. Even Anessa saw it too because she was under surveillance looking up this guy. He was, you know, the father to be. Uh, when, well, before we get to that, uh, after what this found out about, uh, the, about Gabby, she was basically thinking of what's really going on with my life, and she went back to uh, the Grace's place, which is like, I, I really need to make amends of what's really going on, but I didn't expect that she would give this open hearted speech and then walk up here and look for this and then we're middle of having sex right there in the blue, and then she just sat up and realized that, yeah, this was a mistake. And then literally fill it right on her lap when Grace told Anissa, uh, are you going to hurt me again? And then the reason that she froze, and I understand why 
because if she did say yes, she's going to have to keep the secret that she's thunder or maybe just out of the blue she's going to end up saying it. And in that position, you, you would freeze in a, in a tough situation like that when you're no uh, when you basically want this to work and then Grace uh, took it the wrong way and then stormed out and then went through the exact same thing as Anissa did in the end of episode of season 1, episode 1, where she discovered she had powers. But we already know that but by looks things, she already knows that she has these powers. And it looked like she was having leopard spots coming out of her body and she already had under control because she took medication to help it calm it down so she must be a natural lab metahuman and then that crazy chemical losing foot lady says she finally found the way along with Anissa's uh, uh, with uh, Anissa's and Jefferson's mom uh, well with, uh, with, with Jefferson's ex-wife's formula they added it together and then they put it all into the green light dab pods and then she says it's all working but just like that for basically a, a, a at least that four or five of the green light kids flatlined. And as you said, the experiment worked. Only 14 survived. And it was like, that's not the whole fucking point. She was trying to save every last one of them in the pods. And then she said, you just saved 14 lives, bitch, after she flipping clocked her. And the place was more like, that dude that had her uh, at the start really knew this was going to happen. He is not intentionally looking to, to save all these uh, kids' lives. And now she's in a tough situation that she saw at least five kids die and four of them were alive. I mean, it's it's tough. And then there was a flashback at the start of the episode where uh, Jennifer and Cleo were talking. And then I think Cleo uh, te technically ruined it where he said, uh, are we going to be working on this again? And that freaked her out. And he's like, okay, now I finally realize, okay, now I realize what the hell am I doing? And then um, he heard about Gamby and then he went to see if she was okay, which was a nice thing to do. And uh, Tobias is really getting on Cleo's nerves, saying that he's still responsible for what happened to Saturday night. Because I mean, for 20 years, uh, that Tobias has been really looking after her. So we can see how much she meant here. So I guess we have to wait until episode 6 to see what's really going on with uh, is Gamby really alive or dead and uh, what is really going on inside that case and uh, the dude that was on the news saying about uh, the, the clinic is going to be uh, well protected and more staff because of anonymous benefactor who plays a fun to uh, fix up the plus uh, which was obviously uh, Tobias that uh, owns the center I think he, I think he is but uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed my review video and I hope you guys understand that uh, by the time when, the, when my new camera comes I'm just going to go straight to the episodes I haven't watched yet I'm just going to watch the ones that I have fall behind on and then I'll be doing a review on all the episodes I've watched because that seems a bit faster for me and I've already started with this one and uh, thank you uh, for the person who commented me on my episode 5 of The Flash and thank you about my hair which was unexpected she said she loved the video and she said she loved my hair which was okay but, but anyway I'll, uh, thank you very much if you do watch this again so anyway I'm going to shut down now so I'm Connor I'm CEO to the YouTubers and YouTube reps I'm Connor I'm CEO thank you and over now